All right, guys, let's pick this back up. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a file geodatabase because we need to um, store this new feature class somewhere. So we're going to store it in a file geodatabase. So I actually have some code that does that um, here. So I'm just going to copy some of this and, and alter it a little bit. Um, so we don't need to do it in a loop. Uh, actually, I grabbed the wrong line. We want the create file geodatabase. All right, working directory. And now it's just saying, this is where you want to put the file geodatabase. This is the name of it. So let's just call it fgdb underscore one. And let's set this equal to a variable called um, file geodatabase path. And this will actually create, um, let's just run it to show you what it's doing. So let me just make sure, yeah, we don't have anything in that path. So let's just print print this out to make sure it's giving us what we want. Yep, so it's the actual full path to the new file geodatabase. So that's what I want. So I'm going to delete that. And now the next thing we're going to want to do is that XY table to point. Um, so this is, remember when we took the CSV file and... Um, displayed it on the map. So that's what we want to run here. Um, so it's asking the CSV file. So this is the um, path to the CSV file. So let me say um, input CSV file. And I'm just going to grab that, the full path to the CSV file. Uh, where did I put that? and put an R in front of it. So instead of it saying that, we want it to say input CSV file. This is basically where are you gonna put it. So you can see it's it's pointing to, remember this is what we copied from ArcGIS Pro. So it's pointing to the default file geodatabase that Pro made for us. But we wanna actually point it to this new file geodatabase. So what we wanna do is if we say file geodatabase, that's only gonna give us this. But this, you can tell from this syntax, it's expecting the file geodatabase and then also the name of what you want to call the new feature class. So let's get rid of this and say, um, we're gonna use the F strings here. And we're gonna say slash new feature class and in here we're going to put file geodatabase path so this is going to give us this path and then we're saying slash new feature class and it's complaining about this because it probably thinks it's an escape character so we need to put the r in front of this um, so it knows to treat it as a raw string um, so that looks good let's set this equal to new feature class and why don't we print out new feature class and we'll also print file geodatabase. And let's just run that to make sure it's working so far. So um, let's run that. So we got a new file geodatabase, our new feature class, and it finished successfully. Cool, so I think this worked. Let's um, take a look at it in pro. So if I go to YouTube videos, file geodatabase, refresh this, here's our new feature class. So it looks like it works. So I'm gonna get rid of the, this is the old stuff we were working with. So if I drag this new one in, we should have a feature class. All right, that worked. Uh, but remember, we, we're not gonna have the new field yet. So we don't have the new field and we don't have the field calculator. That hasn't happened yet. So let's do that next. Um, so let's delete this again. And what we have to do next is, uh, before we calculate the field, we need to make that new field. So let's just Google um, ArcGIS, actually Arc High Make New Field. And I think this is it. Yep, so so you can see here, 
there's only one, two, three, only three required fields. So all these are optional. So let's look at their example here. I'm just going to grab this, paste this in. And I know I don't really need these because these are all optional. So the only three that are required are these three. So this is, let's go take a look. The first one is the input table. So the input table to which specified field will, will be added. So that is our new feature class. So since we set it as a variable, we can just say new feature class. This is the name of the new field. So I'm going to name it exactly what I did in the example in pro, which was temperature underscore underscore F. So let's just paste that. And we're going to make this a double just like we did um, in the ArcGIS Pro example. And you can see here, double all caps, just like that. And that looks good. So let's, um, oops, oh, that's a weird, oh, it's because I had a caps lock on. Print, um, add a new field. Let's just test to make sure this is working. Cool, I'm gonna quickly inspect it. Just refresh it. All right, so we have our empty field, but everything's null. So now we have to run the field calculator. So let's do this again. And remember, this is what we copied from Pro, so the syntax isn't going to be exactly what we need. But uh, calculate field. So this is the location of, um, like, what table do you want to add a field or calculate a field to? So that's going to be our new feature class. Now it's saying what field do you want to calculate? So we're going to calculate the new field that we just added, which is named this. And then this is the expression that we're going to run. And we're using this Python three um, syntax. So if that works, we can say finish uh, creating or finish, just say finish everything, finish everything. All right, uh, let's run that. So created the file database, created the feature class out of the field, finish everything. So let's just go in pro and take a look, just refresh it. Sweet. So there we go. We have everything calculated and that's all I wanted to show you guys. So I uh, just wanted to keep it short and simple. Um, you know, this isn't super useful, but if you had like a bunch of uh, CSV files like hundreds or thousands that you needed to do this process. You could put this in a for loop and just do it like that um, Yeah, hope that was helpful um, Please like and subscribe and if you have any video uh, Ideas anything you'd like me to show videos about please uh, just let me know and comment. Thanks